4500 printer. First cut the tape or pry it open to open the box. Fold back the flap so the items can be removed easily. In the top of the box will be the accessories for your printer. You'll be installing these later. First remove the cartridges. First one here will have a card attached. This is your tricolor cartridge. It's a good idea to keep this card around so that you'll know which cartridges to buy when you're going to replace them. And then take out the black cartridge. The last item you want to remove from this part of the box is the power cable. Pull out the piece of cardboard and set it aside for recycling. Now you can remove the printer from the box. If it provides a carrying bag for your printer, which also helps remove it from the box, just locate the two handles and then set the box on its side. Using those two handles, gently pull the printer out of the box. Once it slides completely out, you can set the box aside for recycling. And then we can remove the styrofoam from the side of the printer. Notice a couple of papers and a CD that came with your printer. The booklet is the multi-language user guide for your printer which provides basic setup and troubleshooting information. The piece of paper is your getting started guide. This is the basic step-by-step -step guide for your printer which is basically what we're showing in this video. Last is the installation CD for Mac and Windows. You'll need this CD to install the software for your printer. And if later you can't find the CD or you want to check online for updated drivers, you can go to hp.com forward slash support and search for new drivers for your printer model. Set that aside and now we can remove the printer from the bag. The best way to do this is just to lift the printer up and slide it out of the bag. Now we can remove any tape, plastic, or other packaging materials that are on or inside the printer. I like to start with taking the tape off the back. Just peel the tape back. It's designed to come off easily and not leave any residue on the printer. Now go turn to the front and take this large piece of tape. It should run from the very top all the way to underneath the printer. So you'll probably have to lift up the printer to get it off. While the printer is on its back, remove the piece of tape running from the front of the printer to the underside. Then remove the other piece of tape holding the input tray closed on the front of the printer. Once these are removed, you can set the printer back down and then go to the scanner lid and lift it up. With the scanner lid up, you can pull back the plastic cover off the lid and then close the lid. Peel off the piece of film covering the front of the printer. Open the input tray and then slide it out. Remove the piece of tape that's on the tray. After this piece of tape is removed, take your finger and push out the width adjustment guides. Slide in the input tray until it clicks into place. Now you can remove the protective film from the control panel. Next you need to remove the packing materials from inside the printer. So find the cutouts and lift up the top cover. Remove the cardboard and strips of tape near the back of the printer. Now I'll remove the orange piece of plastic. You'll start by lifting the tape on the side of the printer and should remove all of it in one piece. Once these are removed, go ahead and close the top cover. And your printer is now unpacked and ready to set up the hardware. Our first, take the power cord and remove the twist tie. Sometimes it can be difficult to take off. Now untangle the cord and we're going to plug it into the back of the printer. Let me turn this around and find the port where the cord plugs into. Then plug the cord firmly in place. Now you can return to the front of the printer and we'll plug the power cord into its power source. 
For this video, you were using a power strip, but HP recommends that you plug your printer directly into a wall outlet to prevent any power issues. Once everything's plugged in, we're gonna to go to the front of the printer. On the left hand side, you're gonna find the power button. Go ahead and press that to power on your printer. When it first powers up, it'll make some noise while it's initializing for first use. After the printer is powered on, use the arrows to scroll to the language you want and then tap OK. Again, use the arrow buttons to scroll to yes and tap OK. Here, use the arrow buttons as needed to select your region and then tap OK. Then scroll to yes to confirm and tap OK again. Next, you will receive a prompt telling you to insert the cartridges. So use the cutouts on the side again and lift the top cover. The carriage will move into the access area. Now using the cartridges that came with the printer, we'll install them into the printer. We'll first install the tricolor cartridge, as labeled. To open these, just rip them open or you can use a pair of scissors. Um, there's a little special area on the very top that is designed to open up easily. Now using the orange pull tab, remove the tape covering the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. When you go to load the cartridges in the printer, you'll notice the color on the locking levers match the color on the top of the cartridge. Lift to open the lock lever for the tricolor cartridge. Slide the tricolor cartridge downward into the slot. Make sure the back edge of the cartridge is under the lock lever. Then close the lock lever until it snaps into place. Now you repeat the process with the black cartridge. Start by opening up the package. Remove the cartridge from the package and then use the orange tape to uncover the ink nozzles and electrical contacts. Then from the printer, lift up the lock lever. They very simply drop into place and then you can close the lock lever. Close the top cover of the printer now. printer will recognize that you've installed genuine HP cartridges. A message will appear on the control panel stating that. I'm going to move to the front of the printer and then press OK to continue with the setup process. The printer will show you that it's initializing and ask you to load paper. Pull out the input tray and then tap a stack of paper on a hard surface. Once the paper is aligned, load it into the printer as far as it will go, and then push the width guides inward, and then slide in the tray. The printer will then print out an alignment page. An alignment will help show the printer where on the paper to drop the drops of ink. That way your printouts look like the best quality. This process can take a few minutes, so we sped it up in this video. Once the alignment page prints, you'll need to scan the alignment page. The instructions are on the alignment page, but if you just follow along here, we'll lift up the scanner lid. Place the alignment page face down on the front right corner of the glass. It'll indicate on the printer exactly how to load the paper. Once it's in place and in the very far corner, go ahead and close the scanner lid and tap OK to continue. The printer will now scan the alignment page. This process can also take a few minutes, so we sped it up for this video. Once the alignment has finished scanning, an alignment successful message will appear on the control panel. Tap OK to continue. You can set up your printer for a wireless connection either via the software that came with the printer or standalone through the printer itself. 
Since setting up your network is different for each configuration, we're not going to show those instructions here. So use the arrows to scroll to Not Now and then tap OK. On the Installation Software Reminder, tap OK again. Now your hardware setup is complete. You can install the printer software and then start printing. This was the